pretend it's page six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, sure. This is page six. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I have some big news today. My favorite card in the Dragon Ball Super Card game got limited, not banned. Thank goodness, Bandai. Thank you, Bandai, for not banning my favorite card. But my favorite card in DBS is limited to one. You can only have one in your deck. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Joku, our hearts go out to you. We feel so bad that your favorite card you can only play one of. Well, guys, don't worry about it. And I'm going to tell you why. But if this is your first time here, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for watching this video about my favorite card in the Dragon Ball Super card game, Son Goku, the Hope of Universe 7. Yeah, this card got limited. You can only have one in your deck now. It's okay. And this is why it's okay. Because I only have one SPR that I play in my deck. So all my other SPRs are graded and they're put away in my collection. So I only have one SPR of this card. And the SPR I have of this card, I picked up early on and I happen to have it in my deck box, which was in my backpack when I was at Comic-Con in 2019 and I met Masako Nozawa. For those of you who don't know who Masako Nozawa is, she is the true voice actor of Goku in the Japanese original dub. This is the Dragon Ball Super Broly newspaper. This came out when the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie came out in Japan. And in this newspaper, there's a picture of a Joku getting this card signed by Masako Nozawa. I'm wearing an Awaken Power t-shirt that I made and there's Masako Nozawa signing my card. So here it is. Oh my God. My favorite card. This is my most prized Dragon Ball possession. This is the Sun Goku Hope of Universe 7, signed by Masako Nozawa. Sean Shamel's signature is there, but I got the real voice actor of Goku's signature right there. It is really on there. Take a look here. This is it. This is my Hope of Universe 7 signed card. My most prized Dragon Ball possession that I own. This is the culmination of so much of my life's work and fandom into an experience that I can play and take three cards out of my opponent's hand and potentially evolve into Victory Strike. I love this card. It might as well be a secret rare. You know, I always say it would be cool if you could run two secret rares. Well, guess what? Now you can, because you can only have one copy of this card in your deck. So it's essentially a secret rare. You get to run two Goku secret rares now. You can run Awaken Power and you can run this secret rare. Let me get my three five magnification loops. Beautiful cardboard, huh? Oh, wow. Oh God. I've got what I think are the two most beautiful Dragon Ball Super Card Game cards in my hand right here. And oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so shiny. It's such gorgeous art. Tournament of Power, they're both secret rares now. So yes, you can have two secret rares in your deck. Am I bummed about this card getting limited? No, no, heck no. Heck no way. That's awesome. This game is awesome. So these are my feelings on the changes in the game. I get to play my max rarity. Now my deck is max rarity and I don't have to do all the work to max rarity it. So, you know, I still I still happen to actually really like the art on the original SR. I think the original SRs are beautiful. I think this is gonna be an amazing collector's item as well, just cause it's a great looking card. It's such a cool looking SR. The art on it is awesome. Anyway, that's been my show, guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful in changing your perspective about being bummed about something. Sometimes you can look at it from a different angle and be excited about it because it can be cool news i'm really glad the card wasn't banned outright and i don't think it will get completely banned i think keeping it at one is fine i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so your dental routine is specific per yourself your dental routine should be individualized to you so that you can take the best possible care of your teeth and you know what to do with your mouth if that means using an electric toothbrush, if you're not gonna use an electric toothbrush, then use a power toothbrush. If you're only gonna floss in the middle of the day, that's better than not flossing at all. So figure out what your best routine is. Work with your dentist to help you create the best practice for you and manage and maintain your oral hygiene because your teeth are super useful and they're super valuable. And if you get to keep them for the rest of your life, you get to enjoy food the rest of your life. And hey, guess what? You get to breathe easily because your teeth actually help you breathe. And breathing is really important to staying alive. It's super, super, super easy to die without breathing. Make sure to brush twice a day. 
floss once a day if you can and work on your dental routine with your dentist make sure that they know the things that you're doing and they're able to advise you and how you can best augment your routine we got some dragon ball heroes tomorrow we got to strip them the snack on monday and we're getting more vermilion bloodlines on wednesday so stay tuned guys i will see you there and i will see you next da, 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 da.